welcome. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use a sketch of a piecewise function. Hello, we're given this piecewise function to figure out, that is, state the value of each of these quantities if it exists. Now, if it's infinite, we're going to write plus or minus infinity. If it doesn't exist, we're going to write dNe. &E. So let's first look at the limit of f of x as x approaches 6 from the left, from the negative side. That's where that negative tells us to approach from. So as a reminder, this is the negative side, and this is the positive side. So as we're walking along to, oh, not positive 6, excuse me, negative 6 here, from this side, along the x-axis, we see that along the vertical axis, the y-axis, the function is approaching the number negative 2. So as we walk over this way, we'd have to look down to see that the function approaches negative 2. All right. Next, let's look at what happens when we approach it from the positive side. So we're approaching negative 6 in this direction. And we look down, and the function, again, is approaching the same value. It's approaching negative 2. Let's evaluate this limit. So when you're evaluating a limit after you've looked at the limit from one side and the other, as long as these values match, you can remove the minus or the plus sign you have and just say the limit of this function as x approaches negative 6, and this will be from both sides, is equal to negative 2. Finally, let's evaluate the function f when x equals negative 6. And as you can see, f of negative 6 here is an open hole. Finally, we want to look at the function evaluated at negative 6. Here we have a removable discontinuity, and f evaluated at negative 6 is negative 4. Okay, let's approach negative 4 now from the negative side, so that from this direction, the function is approaching or staying constant as we come in from the left to the value of negative 2. So this function f of x, when x equals negative 4, here is approached from this direction from the negative side, because of that sign, we know that the function approaches negative 2. Let's do the same thing now from the right. From the right, as we come in towards negative 4 along the x-axis, we can look up from here to see that this function is approaching the number positive 2. Okay, now we want the limit as x approaches negative 4. And notice there's not a plus sign, there's not a minus sign next to it. So we, so we look at our one-sided limits, and we ask ourselves, do these limits, do the value of these limits match? Negative 2 and positive 2 do not match. So we say this limit does not exist, which is we can write d and e. Now let's evaluate f at negative 4. When x equals negative 4, that is the input of the function is negative 4, the output is equal to 6. Okay, let's look at the limit as x approaches f of, uh, excuse me, as x approaches negative 2 of f of x. And notice there's no plus or minus, so let's just take a look at negative 2. When we come in from the left or from the right, we're going to the same value, the same y value that is y equals 0. Now let's look at positive 2. As we approach, that is the limit as x approaches 2, positive 2 of f of x, as we approach the x value of 2 from both sides, we see that the function approaches the same value here of negative 1. Now, here is some more practice evaluating this function. When x equals 2, that is an input of 2, the output is positive 4. All right, let's look at the limit as x approaches 7 of f of x. We can look at the left and the right and see from both sides, as long as we're approaching 7, this function is getting infinitely small from both sides, so this limit is negative infinity. All right, next let's look at the limit as x approaches 3. Here's 3, and we're approaching from the left, that is in this direction. We're approaching negative infinity, that is the function is growing in the negative direction without bound. Now let's approach positive 3 from the right. So as we travel along the x-axis, along the inputs, towards an input of positive 3, look up towards the function, and you can see 
that the function is growing without bound in the positive direction. This function is growing without bound in the positive direction. So this limit here is positive infinity. Now, as x approaches 3, and that's from both directions, these limits do not approach the same value, so this limit does not exist. Finally, let's look at the limit as x approaches 4. So x is approaching 4 from both sides, and we look at the outputs here, and they're all approaching positive 3. Now, let's look at this final limit. That is the limit as x approaches 4 of f of x. As we approach 4 from both sides, we see that the outputs are approaching positive 3. I hope these limits reminded you of riding a laughter roller coaster through a candy land sky.